What's going on, hikers? What's up with you? Oh, me? I'm tent camping at a KOA. <laughs> So guys, I'm here tent camping at a KOA. KOA stands for Campgrounds of America. And in the US, there's one in pretty much every little town across the western half of the US. I'm not sure about the eastern half. They are a discounted campsite. You can hook up RVs, there's facilities. I'm actually using a tent site. My wife hates it. So this KOA had availability at a tent site for 35 bucks. I had water, hookups, power, place to cook, bathrooms, and a shower. So anyway, I'll check it out show you around on the video a little bit and we'll see what it looks like. You know, I got in at 11.30 last night. What's nice is they have the uh, late night registration. My reservation was already done online, so I had all my stuff right here in the bin. I just had to pick it up when I got here. It gave me where my site was, how to get into the restrooms, what's the Wi-Fi code. Let's say you don't have a spot and you come to a KOA after hours, you can come in here, make a self-payment and see what available site, uh, sites there are. So here's some of their cabin sites. We as a family have rented these many times, not these exact ones, but cabins from KOA. I've never seen them with, a, uh, with air conditioners. That's nice. The thing about these is there's no bathroom, you still have to use the communal facilities. Nice little pool area. Actually goes down to seven feet. So here's the, uh, here's the actual site itself. Like I said, paid 35 bucks. They would call it the luck site. It's got power, water, uh, firing for cooking, place to set up your tent. There's a few of these, they're really well shaded too, that's nice. And if you look over here, there's a communal camp kitchen for the tent sites that you can use. Not really sure what's in it. We can go check it out. And then on this side, some other sites that just aren't as well shaded. No grass. So here's that camp kitchen. You can hear the road noise, we're right by a damn highway. So you do have running water, two burner stove. I tried to use it, it's not working, or at least it's not turned on right now. But hey, they give you amenities to use. Just a really nice site. I got in late, uh, late last night, set up very quickly. I uh, actually sat at the table here, got connected to Wi-Fi. My laptop did some work before I crashed. And now I've got coffee going over there. In fact, let's go check that uh, cooking setup. So the only cooking setup I brought is the old soda can stove. A little alcohol stove setup, got coffee already heated and might make breakfast here in a second. Couple notes about sleeping here. If you can hear, there's road noise. There's a lot of road noise, in fact. So that was an issue. And all night, there's things going on. You can hear the city noise, sometimes sirens. And camping in an environment like this is a lot different. I should have used earplugs or headphones. It probably would have slept better. But at the same time, it wasn't too bad. You can see how nice these sites really are for the price and what you get. You do get Wi-Fi, nice high-speed connection. So the last thing I was gonna show you, but I'm not gonna be able to, are the bathrooms. There are communal bathrooms over there. Hit like if communal bathrooms suck. And there's also hot showers. Now the showers are private stalls where you have a changing room and the shower itself. Like I said, I tried to walk in there and get a little video, but there's already people and it would have been awkward. So I think I'm gonna load up, take a shower, get dressed, head into El Paso, then I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day.